Hey everybody, Dustin here. Welcome back to the farm. Hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas, but it's time to get back at it. And today I'm hauling wheat to Maymont and I'm hauling with our Volvo truck. And I wanna show you this truck because it's pretty cool. It's an automatic transmission. So there's no shifting, there's no gears. It's just like driving a car. So I wanna show you guys that today. Plastic still on it. Keep it fresh. First thing you notice is that the key is on the left side. I think for this reason, so you can just sit on the step instead of getting all the way in the truck to start it in the mornings. Outside looks like it's a very like modern sleek kind of Volvo design it's got the short front just like all the other Volvos a little bit different compared to the uh, Western Star and more of the box kind of square frame design it's got the LED headlights they look really cool clearance lights up top Pulling the Super Beast today. I'm idled up here and just warming up. You can tell it's, it's, uh, it runs really quiet, which we like. Okay, let's hop inside. door. Okay, I could have washed his windshield. This is the 2019 Volvo D13 VNR. So it's the uh, the short the short bunk. They also make a VNL, which is the long haul version, and uh, with the bigger bunk. So back here, it's just the small bunk. Um, it's a 13 speed. So there's 12 gears plus the creeper gear, which is the which is the low gear uh, with the I shift transmission. So this is the shifter down here. So there's there's no gears. It's just like just like driving your car. I'm in neutral right now. Reverse drive and then manual. And then you can manually switch your gears with the plus and minus on the side here. And then here it has the what gear you're in also has the economy and performance uh, mode. It just sh changes your shifting patterns. So in performance, it's gonna rev a little bit higher. Got the small horn here. And then the, then the big horn. Uh, what else can I tell you? So underneath, no clutch. Obviously, Put my big flippers out of the way, just the gas and the brake. So sometimes when I'm going in between the Western Star and this truck, I kind of forget and it's just instinct if I need to stop in a hurry, I'll jam my left foot down thinking there's a clutch there and there isn't and your foot goes through the floorboard. But um, you get used to it. Got lights over here. My lockers here, and then since there's no clutch, um, if you're starting on a hill, there will be a hill start assist. It's basically a, a five second delay until the brakes release. Um, so, like in a manual, you kind of just use the, the clutch and don't roll backwards. So, this has a hill start assist, which you can click on and off. I like it um, at the terminal when if there's a little bit of a hill. I don't like it here in the yard um, if you have to move um, when you're loading or unloading. It's just a little bit slow, so I just click it off. 
We got the Jake's over here. On the dash, you can just use your buttons to switch between screens. So you can go into vehicle info, display, just a bunch of settings. You can see your fuel economy and temperatures and lots of pressures, your trips, stuff like that. Here's your region, just on this toggle right here. So I'll press home, get back to my home screen. This iShift transmission, it always wants to be in the highest gear possible. So even in the yard, it'll start in the creeper gear and then it'll shift to like third or whatever. And it always wants to be in that high gear. So in the yard, I, I just put it in manual and then just shift manually. It's a little bit easier. I don't have to go too fast. Um, it's a little bit easier that way. So that's one thing I, I don't really like about it, but if you just switch it in manual, it's not too bad. One thing I do like about these Volvo trucks is the big windshield. Um, you have great visibility to the front just because it's so short. And then with the big windshield, you can see really well in the Western Star and like those Peterbilt style trucks, it has the two windshields with the post in the middle. So that's one thing I do like about these Volvos. Also the big cab, got lots of room for my lunch. This truck is really easy to drive. You do have to get used to it. It is like driving a car, it's just like still really big and really heavy, but it is really nice. Lots of room for storage. We've got cupboards over there. We've got the fridge in here. So let's see if this guy can pull. So just foot on the brake, shift it to drive. Came in drive. D is drive, C is creeper, which is my low gear, and then E is my economy. So let's take off. So it's gonna shift for me here. They had already jumped to three. I'm going to switch it to manual, just move it like that, so now I'm in manual, and see there's a down arrow to the left of the 5 and 3 up arrows to the right of the 5, those are my available gears that I can shift to while I'm in manual mode, so I can shift down once or up 3 times, so I'm going to hit my plus button on the side here and I'm going to shift up. There it goes to six. Now there's two on the left, two on the right. So I can go either way twice. So that's what that means. So I'm gonna shift back to drive and let it do it for me. So the speed limits, 60 kilometers an hour with uh, pulling with a semi and at 60k at least it likes to be in this 10th gear which is a good cruising speed and then those two top gears have a lot of range so there's no problem getting up to highway speeds fully loaded so I will see you at the elevator button here and use my gears to slow down because the 
if you have it in automatic, it doesn't seem to downshift as fast as you'd like it to. So it's just a little bit easier to use your gears to slow yourself down, just like driving an 18 speed. And just before the probe here on a little bit of this hill, I'll show you the hill start assist. So it notices we're on a hill and it's active right now. So I'm gonna take my foot off the brake and it's still gonna hold me. There it released and now I can drive ahead. So just without that clutch, it'll, uh, it'll still hold that truck in place. So that's what the hill start assist does. I like it for right here, if you're in line, uh, there's no trucks here now, so I like it here, but at the auger, unloading or unloading, I usually just uh, take it off. Okay, I'm at the probe, I can park, set my idle, and enter my load number. This is what we use so we don't have to touch the buttons. <laughs> Couple other things while I'm just getting probed here. Uh, so here are my interlockers my traction control, the fifth wheel slide, and then my hill start assist. And here's my uh, dump. And then these are just buttons that if you wanna wire in. Uh, radio's here, heat control's here, uh, work light over here, and then also some interior lights, uh, blue, and then uh, some mood lighting, and then just uh, clear cup holders down here for your coffee or for water cubbies cubbies lots of storage yeah it's a nice truck we really like it it's uh it's a nice change of pace from grabbing gears all day to going into this uh, you could drive this all all day and and uh, not get tired so we really like it.